2023. Just got done with a mow uh, right before the rainstorm came in. It looks like uh, we might be getting some more. It's uh, very highly unlikely, even though it's very cloudy. Uh, we haven't got any rain for the month of July whatsoever, and temperatures have been in the hundreds. So, uh, 103 been the highest I believe 106 I think we had a day of 106 that might have been the one but uh yeah grass has been growing pretty well got that hydro chain down so it prevented uh, it from having the heat stress in the ground but there are some areas where it looks like maybe it's not doing so well like over here we've got a little yellow spot here and that could just be due to the amount of nitrogen I had put down yeah, I went with the uh, Humic Max 1608, I want to say, and it, I did it at the five pound per uh, thousand square feet high rate. Uh, my soil test told me that I needed a lot more nitrogen, so I went ahead and uh, was told to go ahead and put it down at a high rate because uh, grass is demanding more at this, at this time of the season. It's growing rapidly and it needs more nitrogen, so that's what I did. Um, yeah, given that we haven't had any rain this whole month, I had to run sprinklers quite a bit, uh, more than just uh, my cycle of two times per week. I increased this zone to, it's two zones here and I increased it to an hour each. Uh, they're running off MP rotator nozzles for the sprinkler heads, or on the sprinkler heads got the MP rotator nozzles by Hunter, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that right here. but. Uh, it's a water saver thing, so I've been planting in those uh, water gauges on the grass just to see how much uh, how many inches of water I've been getting. In some spots, I've been getting a lot. Like this area here, you can tell, extremely, extremely well grown, very green. Um, this this gets running it for an hour. It all, almost gets an inch of water just running it for an hour, while some other areas are only getting like 0.2. So it's it's really, really inconsistent with the, uh, I don't know if adjusting it's gonna help. I've got some really uh, spots that aren't growing very well after doing my top dressing leveling and all that. Checking over here, this area hasn't been growing very well so I've been doing some uh, plugs. You can see what I've been doing is I've been taking some plugs around from the rich um, grassy areas. So here, this is like a very good area here. Been taking plugs and moving over here to the not so well areas. And then I put carbonized PN uh, before I put the plugs in and then I put it again on the top. So that's why you see all, uh, carbon, it's all dark here. But uh, hopefully that does, so that spreads around because I really need this area. That side of the yard is actually doing really well, but this side's not doing very well. So uh, I need that to grow in. And with the heat, with it being middle of July, hopefully uh, the grass will take shape um, before the season's over. That's my goal. Uh, I did a, I did like two plugs over here. Not saying that the plugs really did much, but uh, the grass is growing. This used to be a bigger hole, uh, you know, a bigger uh, bare spot, but now you can see that it's starting to fill in. So I anticipate this being fully filled in by the end of the month, maybe the beginning of uh, August. And then over here is one that I've been working on. Uh, done probably about seven plugs now this one uh, there's one right there I did four new ones over there just the other day and you can see the stolons are starting to come in so I anticipate this one probably filling in maybe mid-august or so I'm pounding it with a lot of water so that uh, it can grow in and hopefully uh, I can get that bare spot taken care of and that'll be my last bare spot of the lawn and then all I need, all I left, I left, I need to do is basically just look around, it's like those yellow spots there where grass isn't growing very well, is to do some plugs and try to get the grass to spread out. Uh, same thing on this side. This 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 area here doesn't grow very well either. It could be due to soil compaction. Even though I aerated, um, there's probably some construction debris still in. You know, like some of the uh, sheetrock um, when they were building the house. Uh, Sheetrock residue, sheetrock uh, uh, debris is like mixed with the soil. 
So, you know, it's not, it's, the grass is not able to thrive in that type of condition. So taking it out, um, taking the plug out and replacing it with a healthy, uh, healthy plug and putting carbonized PN, uh, I'm anticipating that it's going to help that out. But we'll, we'll have to wait and see if that's, uh, that's going to turn out like the way I, I'm thinking of. But yeah, um, it rained for only about a good 15 minutes and it didn't rain that much. Uh, I wasn't able to even blow my clippings into the back into the lawn. I had to spray with a hose. So you can see uh, where the driveway is wet. And then this area here obviously is the challenge area because of the shade of the tree. But uh, grass is actually growing in because of the heat that we've been getting every day in the 100 degree weather. Uh, the Bermuda is actually uh, spreading pretty well. I've been hand watering this area and I turned off the sprinklers in this zone because uh, I didn't want to wet um, my pile of sand that I still have left over. So I just wanted to, uh, you know, hand spray it, try to get, try to fill in these spots here. And then maybe by the end of the season, uh, we can at least get maybe that area there. And then this filled in, this filled in. And that there i wouldn't think the back that's too shaded all those areas back there are way too shaded so i don't, I don't anticipate for me to go in there but it'd be nice if i can get this all fully filled in that'd be nice so i can get that in there and but yeah the lawn's starting to take shape i mean you guys can see that um how it was before when we started in the beginning of the season in april and you know, how that looks now um a lot of heat a lot of mowing a lot of watering mowing especially uh, that did the that did the job. So let's transform this lawn into some, you know, golf course lawn to uh, something I wanted by the end of the season. And I think I've accomplished that goal. And hoping to, it's gonna fine tune it by the end of the season. I can't get these clippings out. It's too wet. Once it dries up, I'm gonna blow these. But as for now, it's right there. I had to leave them. <clears throat> but uh. Yeah, I might do some plugging over there. It's a, there's a bare spot right there that I need to fill in. I think this is like just hard compacted soil. It just has big rocks in there. But yeah, that's about it. Still trying to grill this one in. This here. Got too much shade in this area, so I'm not able to grow grass in this spot. I need to trim these trees. This will probably help. but. Given how I don't have very much time left during this, uh, for the rest of the season, I've got basically half of July to go and then a full month of August. I can't anticipate what's going to happen next month, so we'll have to see what's going to happen. And let's see what we got. Yeah, this area hasn't been growing very well either, so I'm going to have to do some plugs here. That's my next, that's my next uh, goal. Let's see if I can get this one to fill in by the end of the season some of these areas too right there yeah so now bas basically i'm pretty much done with uh you know with the sand leveling and stuff i mean for for this season next year i'm gonna do it again but basically i'm just looking around to see uh, what areas still need to be fixed i had a little problem area too a uh, bare area here so i did plugs here looks like it's getting better and you can see where i took the plugs from with the heat and everything they're already starting to fill up and this was only like two weeks ago so yeah the grass is growing very well in this heat and uh, with me um, constantly mowing it's it's basically helping a lot oh one thing I did do today um, was I, I saved the I did not bag the, the clippings, so I actually mulched them back into the lawn because I started paying attention to how I was um, collecting them in the grass caster and they're super healthy looking. I mean, if you look, I don't know if you can see, but I had piles and piles of this stuff here. And man, this is healthy grass right here, you know? Like these are healthy clippings. So I want to recycle that back into the lawn, you know? And who knows, maybe that, that'll help boost up some of the growth on those bare areas that are needed. But I've been bagging those up uh, since I started real mowing. And um, I'm gonna make a change for that. I'm gonna go ahead and, cause I'm cutting almost every other day. This week I did it every uh, three days. I wasn't able to do it every other day, but um, 
it's still like not cutting too much off to where like I need to bag those. So I went ahead and just recycled them back into the lawn. So today this everything is that I mowed is all back in there. I did not uh, bag those. So we'll see how that ends up. But yeah, that's it. Um, gonna continue the mow, gonna continue the plug. I've got my uh, Humic Max done. Oh yeah, I was gonna do Nutrisol today. Today was supposed to be, yesterday was actually supposed to be the second application of the month. But I didn't have time yesterday. I was gonna do it after I mowed today this morning, but couldn't get that done. So um, with that, with the rain, happening maybe this evening i'll be able to do it if it dries up because uh you know i want the leaves to soak uh, absorb that i don't want the water to wash that away but, but even right now I, I like how the color looks the color looks really really good but yep that's it signing out um keep guys updated in the next video